Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while but I thought we could start again with another sketchbook tour. I think this one is the fourth one and I started this on November, I think, yes, of 2019 and finished it on March of 2020. And this is a big one. It's a, it's a big one. I think it's gonna take a while to go through all of it. It's a Nart Talents one. I love this sketchbook. I'm working on one of these right now and I have a smaller one again, same brand. And I finished another one of those. I really like this brand. The paper is not very thick or anything, but I think it's a very great quality one and especially with markers that I like using and with pencil, as you can see. So I started with a pencil portrait as usual. This one is without a reference. And I just drew this um, cute little cloud with a teddy bear and I put it here so I won't lose it. And then I did some character design of a sad boy with a hole on his chest. I think I was just sad at the period and I wanted to draw something sad too. And this is my favorite sketch. And I really like these owls right here, especially this one. Some pencil portraits again, I think these are with reference. And a marker portrait. I didn't do this very often, I think, back then. It's fine, it's okay. I don't know what to say about it. I prefer this one, I think. Let me see. Yes, I think it's this is cuter. And some random boys I drew from the Pull and Bear catalog. <laughs> okay. Some figure drawings, one minute here, and that's because the marker ble bled through the paper. I really haven't found a sketchbook that the marker doesn't bleed through. I only had some papers that it was from a scroller box and they were specifically made for markers. But everything else that I've tried bled through. So I don't mind it. I just drew something like that or just ignore it on the other side, you know. More figure drawing. These are one minute, five minutes, five minutes and I don't know what this is. <laughs> Here I had a project from a school to draw something with Art Nouveau style, to draw a poster for something to do with iron, I don't remember. So yeah, I was like trying to get the hang of the style, drawing different things. I like this something, it's very cute. And I really like this one, this is with markers and it doesn't really pop off the page if you just you know, cut it and it's just that, it's cute, but it doesn't go well with the other stuff on the page, but it's cute. <laughs> More Art Nouveau stuff, trying to draw the faces and the flowers, how they do it, but it's not really close to my style, so I was having a hard time, but I was having fun too. And here's me, <laughs> different photos of me. Back then I wasn't drawing myself so much, but now I'm drawing myself all the time. So these are not, especially this one, doesn't look like me at all. This kind of looks like me, this, okay, this is my, just my body, so it looks like me. And this, it's fun. I don't know if it looks like me, but it's fun and I like it. <laughs> and this, I was watching TV and doing some three markers talents and something like that. I don't like this. I like this one. I like the inking on this because I don't ink stuff very often so I think it's cute. It has some variation in the line. Another page where I drew some stuff for a project. I had to make a business card for me. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't like designing logos and stuff. It's not my thing. And more marker portraits. I really like this one. I didn't erase the pencil underneath, but I like it. it. It combines it all together, I think. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's a bit muddy. I don't know. I like it. I don't like this one. <laughs> Another market portrait. I used to always write the colors that I used. I don't do that now. Ah, it's okay. Some cats. They're really cute. I love cats, but they're kind of hard to draw sometimes, especially without reference. Don't, don't try that. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Some giraffes. 
and watercolor just to fill the page because without it imagine how empty it would look no i put it some watercolor just to fill the page another page with art nouveau for the art nouveau project i really like this this hand how i drew it and the colors that i used and i really like this how cheeked are the line i really like this portrait and this is like more of my style just a random portrait i think in the end i don't know i think i, I went with something like that I might find the picture. I don't have the original project because I gave it to my teacher and I never got it back. I don't know if it was because of the COVID or we weren't supposed to get them back, I don't remember. But I think I have a um, whip of it, so I'm gonna put it in the screen right now if I find it. So here it is. <laughs> or not, I don't know. Some perspective stuff that I don't really understand. I don't know how to do perspective. Hey, he wants attention. Um, yeah, I'm not very good at perspective and stuff. So once a year I, I do something like that and then just never do it again for another year. That's why I'm not good at it. And here I was watching a video of Kat Vok. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. And she so was drawing some creatures and I thought I'd give it a try. I don't like this one. I like the inking on this too. Maybe I like blue with ink, because the other one that I liked was just blue with ink, yes. I like it. <laughs> you learn stuff about yourself every day. Some hands, nothing to say here. Something that I didn't like, probably, here, that I covered with ink. More hands, I really like this too, that I did with markers and ink. I think it's this pen here that I really like, Mangaka Flexible. I don't know if I'm pronouncing right. Okay, this is super beat up, but I have another one. Yes, you can see the difference between the two, I think. I don't know if you can see it actually. I am an influencer. <laughs> Anyways, yes, it's a really nice pen for doing stuff like that. Here, a creepy little portrait <laughs> and I was trying to draw my cat like I was holding pencils like that and trying to draw while he moved I was just trying to draw from life here to really capture the emotions of someone I really like this one it's like you can fit it in a box <laughs> I really like the sketch still and it's like two or even three oh my god three years ago <laughs> <laughs> and I really like this one I still like this one so much um, I like how I've captured the motion of it and I like the belly button I think it's a really nice sketch it's, it's very messy but you can see what's going on you can tell the motion I like it more figure drawings and this is for a logo that I had to make or something like that we had to make a logo for a festival of ugly or bad art and I was trying to make something ugly <laughs> and I think I nailed it no I didn't use that for the for the final one we actually had to make something with expressionism if I remember correctly it's been so long that I don't remember what these are these are my siblings I can tell immediately <laughs> my brother and my little sister and here I was trying to get the hang of expressionism with pastels, I think, or crayons. I don't, I don't know the difference actually. Anyways, <laughs> and I was trying to use bold colors, and I don't like them. They're ugly. They was they were supposed to be ugly. I think this is a study from a piece. I don't remember anything, and I have this because, as you can see, I even did that, and it stains. So I'm putting like random paper here to protect protect the other page um these were definitely studies and this is a study from egon Sile. i don't know how to pronounce his name <laughs> but it's definitely from him you can really tell if you know his art and more expressionism expressionism i've ruined every word i said in this video 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I haven't recorded or spoken English in a while out loud, you know. So my English are a bit rough right now. So yeah, I was trying here to do the same study with different materials. I prefer this one. I don't remember the original, but this is better <laughs> for sure. And then back to my own sketches, just pencil or portraits without reference, my usual stuff. <laughs> I don't know what this page is, I don't like it. This, some friends of mine wanted me to design a logo for them with skating, but I don't know, I don't know what these are. <laughs> some quick sketches, nothing really to say here. Again, with the Festival of Ugly Art, I think this is what I went with. I again don't have the original one, because I gave it to my teacher, but I think this is what I went with in the end. When, For whatever reason, whenever I think of logo, it's, it has to be a circle. I don't know why. I think I even copied that from, from another artist my project was due and I had to finish it and I'm not really creative. I had some tef technical difficulties but I'm back. Okay, let's see. Here I did a watercolor portrait and I have a little reminder right here. Don't use watercolor in this sketchbook because it buckles, the paper buckles so much and it's so streaky. I think the watercolor quality wasn't good but it's very streaky and I, oh, I don't like it at all. And here I was playing a fun game with my family. And I might do a video on that because I don't have the time to explain it right now. But I think it's really cute and fun to play it with your family. Here I was doing another... I was doing a paper on character design. And I wrote down some of the theory. Like uh, triangles are dangerous and fast and like circles are soft and safe, stuff like that. And I drew some characters off of that. I like the circle ones. A self-portrait, but not really. I was just looking myself as a mirror and it doesn't look like me. Again, we were playing that game with my family. Another self-portrait where I was just looking myself in the mirror, so again, it doesn't look like me at all. Here I was doing something with prompts, probably, because here I have asleep, and then it's expectations and reality, and then freedom and doing all those freedom stuff, <laughs> I don't know. Here I try to do guas in the sketchbook. I really like this one and I think it works okay. It's better than watercolors for sure. The paper hasn't really buckled so much or anything. I think it's okay for... The sketchbook is okay for guas if you just do a quick study or something. More character design theory. And more characters. Again, more characters and some silhouettes how he would look with just the silhouette and then some some figure drawings with ink I really like this too more figure drawings and some character designs trying to design the cover of the of my paper getting some prompts to do character design and more more characters in general using the shapes mostly more gouache studies i don't know what this is i just went with my gut i think i'm not really good at painting only digital painting not traditional with traditional paints here i designed this couple here and then just explore their i don't know their character designs more i think they're good he's obviously a square and this is a circle so there's that <laughs> and then i wanted some characters for my cover so i did some super villains and stuff because you know triangles are bad so i designed a villain or something and the two superheroes they're always mo more boring than the villain um some anatomy studies from 
bodybuilders. <laughs> I like this one. I don't know if I should blur this page or something. <laughs> More figure drawings. And here we have some... I was tired and I wanted coffee, which I have now. So again, designing the villain. Her name is Mira, Myra, I don't know. Then random stuff. Laya, I, I don't remember the names or whatever, because it's a cute circle character. Drawing different poses for the characters, how to combine them in the cover. I think I went with this one. I actually probably have these digital finished pieces, so I'm gonna put them on the screen in the end. But I was trying different stuff here. I went with something like that in the end for the two girls and the boy was different than this, I, I think. More pencil portraits. I think these are the closest we've seen to my style now, especially this one. More pencil portraits. I really like this one and this one. I, I like this page, actually. And here is the um, second time I drew this portrait. I do it every year on January. I'm gonna do it this year again. This is the second time that I drew it and I'm gonna do the fourth this year actually. So this is like almost two years ago. Every year I say that I haven't improved but then I drew it and it's completely different and it's really fun to see the chains. <laughs> I love these pages. Random sketches with ballpoint and watercolors here. I used watercolor again. But yes, this grab a ballpoint and go crazy. This is very nice. You just let your creativity flow and what is that? A chicken man? I don't know. I really like this page. And I like these pages too. I did I did the challenges with uh like do a shape and then draw whatever you see in it. I really like this page and I love these mermaids too. Here another project. I had to take some lyrics and create an illustration. I didn't go with that in the end. <laughs> Look at that. I, I think this was for a project or something, I don't remember right now. I really like when someone else gives me a project that I had to do because I let my creativity flow and I drew stuff that I wouldn't normally draw. So, like, I don't draw stuff like that anymore now that I'm not in school anymore. I have fun looking back at that because it doesn't look like something I created. So here my followers tell me what to draw. This was the first time I did that. Here again and a random hand. Some babies to practice expressions and some figure drawing. I really like this one. More portraits and a figure drawing. These are with markers. I like the colors of this. Again, the same project with the lyrics and some random stuff. Here I had to draw with gouache and the complementary colors. I really don't like this too. I don't want to look at them. Again, some nails for my project and some hands. This is what I actually did for the final project. I might put the picture here if I found it again, because I don't have the original. <laughs> and some random ladies and an angry man. More hands. I really like this one. It looks like you can squeeze it <laughs> or something. I don't know. One minute studies. These are good for one minute. I like them. Like this one, you can really, you can really feel it. <laughs> I don't know, I really like it. And some, you know, I never draw landscapes, so I drew some small ones just to feel like I drew them. I don't know. These are with watercolor. Phoebe from France and some more one-minute studies. More studies and Rayla from Dragon Prince. I think I was watching Avatar at the time, I never finished it, I know, very controversial, but I didn't really enjoy watching Avatar, I don't know. 
Oh, I love this too. This is with watercolors and ink. And this is just ink. I don't think the colors are showing so much. But yeah, I like them. They're fun. Here I bought some big crystal. They're like ballpoint bands. I don't have I don't have one here. And I went crazy with them. <laughs> These were without a reference, some portraits. I don't know why so many eyes. And here many eyes. I had something with eyes or no eyes at all. I don't know what's going on here. I like this one and this one. Here I was doing figure drawings, but then like put a cute face on the girl that I was drawing. I really like this one. These two were from the same reference, but I don't remember which one I drew first or if I was if I did this first and then drew this looking at that or if I just drew this first and then that so I improved, I don't remember I drew some nail paints and it's not even me I don't know why I drew this in February I don't remember if I had something to do with mermaids or something I don't know and here I was trying to improve my art so I just did some studies from Matt draw stuff on Instagram and had some notes like he's blocking the shapes and then in the shadows he puts less detail and I was trying to imitate that without references and then with references I like this too this two are whatever they're not good I really like this too where I implemented the stuff that I took from him. And then some gouache studies of landscapes and backgrounds and stuff that I never do and I really enjoy this one. This is Mia, but I really like this one. I need practice, of course I need practice. I don't know, this whole image is like, yeah, I don't like this one. I clearly don't understand perspective. And then I saw, I don't remember who did that, but I so someone do this with some trees and I wanted to try that myself. Drawing some mushrooms and some frogs and different flowers just to take a break for, from portraits. And we're back at portraits and projects for my school. Drawing outside, I was just waiting for someone and I was drawing whatever I saw, some trees and stuff. This Someone else did that, and these are my legs in the window. <laughs> Here I think I was on a train, so I just drew whatever I saw, or I think these are from my imagination, and this is what I saw. Some studies here, playing with the shadow shapes. Another pencil portrait. I really like this one, it looks smooth because I probably blended with a blending sub. I really like this, the shape of the shadows here. Here I wanted to design an older character, so I searched some references and did some studies to get the body type right, simplifying the things that I've learned. Here I think this is from Atlantis, and I think this is Nate from Uncharted, but I'm not sure. Like Nate, body, with Milo's, I think, face. Something like that. <laughs> Some Pinterest outfits with watercolor. And here I was drawing from a reference of me, trying to do a more elaborate piece, but I never finished it. I don't know what these are. A random portrait. And I think here, I've just seen Steven Universe, the episode where they go roller skating and I wanted to draw some roller skates. Here I want. I think I wanted to draw Connie or something, I don't remember. Copying the same pose but now they're bowling. <laughs> and just drawing whatever was around me. And here, for, these are the last few pages and I drew another portrait with markers. I haven't done one in a long time I think. And if you go again in the start and see the first one we saw and that I think I've improved a lot here and I'm really proud of the improvement in one sketchbook. 
some figure drawings just to have something on this page that had marker bleeding through and another portrait the last page of the sketchbook these were my markers at the time just some swatches at the end i always do that random pieces of paper more swatches nothing interesting just these two random pieces of paper here and that's it i know this probably is a long video and i have some technical difficulties with the way my camera moves a lot because i'm not i don't have a very steady ring light it's mostly broken and i have it put together with tape because it's broken but the quality of my videos and my english are going to improve in the next ones so if you want to see that please stay tuned i'll see you in the next one bye